Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's early in the morning here, and I thought I would get out this video of the steampunk journal that I made. Um, I did a, do a video, you may have seen it, and somehow it switched over from um, the regular recording, and it switched to, to slow-mo, and I, I don't know how I did that. But we have this, look at these cute little bells on here. And then this is a watch with some gears in it. Oh, oops. I will put that back on. That went right there. Awesome, right? And then, so this is how you open and close it. I made it to where you could fit more in there, but if you find that it's too loose, then you can just tie it right there. Um, so there's that. I accidentally put two holes in here. I don't know why I was thinking that this was getting put down permanently there. So I put the holes there, but that's okay. Um, we got this pretty, very pretty ornate nameplate. The only one that I have like that. Um, beautiful digital. And here's the back. I used a book, which I painted and put gold on before I put the print down on it. And then the inside, you can't see the brads from that or that. They're hidden behind the paper, so it's a nice, smooth finish. And this, we got a little Tim Holtz clip hanging there with the key. Um, the digital is um, vintage. Oh my goodness, I just drew a blank. But it's by the Ephemera Garden. We have a tag here. And there's writing space here, especially if you have a white pen, we'll probably write on that better. But I use black Sharpies. I'm writing there. So this I cut out from the sheet, um, from one of the regular background pages. Aren't these pretty? I just love the colors. This is the rust dyed paper that I did. And look, isn't that cute? And then we have this and that flips up. We have a gear here and we open that up. Here's the tag, all this writing all up here as well. Making sure I'm centered and Staying on video. The, these digitals are just gorgeous. They're so vibrant. The colors are just, just vibrant, just gorgeous. And there is plenty of writing in here. We got a little bit of glue there. You use a white eraser and it get the glue off. My hands are cold, very cold this morning. So I'm having a hard time turning the pages. This is probably my favorite page. I just love it. I love how vibrant that blue and that red is. And again here, you can probably write on there with a white pen. But all of this regular pen. Got a little bit of writing up there. Aren't these just gorgeous? My printer, I don't know how I put that in there without noticing, but I didn't notice. 
my printer um, stopped printing. So because of that, those, this journal is available at a discounted price. This is my rust paper. So if you're interested in the journal or any kind of journal, then just email me. My email is below. And here, nice writing here. You can also message me on Facebook or Instagram. Here's some more writing here. Look at the page of Chihuahuas. We have a little ticket. Nice writing spot. I love how the paper, when you rust dye it, it just, it's awesome, isn't that? And this is from Little Droplets. It's just fun making rust papers. It takes on um, patterns much better than the coffee dye paper does. And here, oh, we're in the second signature. And here's another one of these. I don't know when we got in the second signature. I didn't even point it out. Right there. Look at the gear head. My hands are like ice. These colors are just awesome. This is, um, I did splatter, ink splattered on that. And you could write up there, right here. This is another one of my favorites. All these geared butterflies. So here is from one of the digitals and I printed it on 65 pound cardstock and then I cut it out to make a tuck. Love the clock. Look at the lion, isn't that cool? It's so jeweled out. Lots of writing right there. Look at the chihuahua, so cute. With the cactus. Lots of writing there. Got a couple of gears on the pocket. Look at the Chihuahua page. So cute. And this is the end. This is authentic. Look at the, how it took on the color. See the color, isn't that awesome? Yep, and that's authentic from a library book I just recently got. So there you go. I don't wanna tighten it because you can fill it up. So I'm gonna leave that to you and it's easy, you just make a knot. And there. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and leave me a comment and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.